Hello, and welcome to another Astro One video demonstration. Today we will be demonstrating how the rotation of the Earth about its axis and its revolution about the Sun affect the length of day, as well as the rise and set times of the stars. To demonstrate this, I will be playing the role of the Earth, while my assistant Stephen will play the role of a star. We still need someone to play the role of the Sun, and for that I have brought in my daughter Lindsay. Hi there! She wants to be an actress one day. This is her first big break. Now to do this, I need the camera, so Stephen, please hand me the camera. Okay, now relative to the distance between the Earth and the Sun, the nearest star is really far away, so Stephen, you need to move far away. No, farther! No, much farther. Now first, if all the Earth did was rotate on its axis, then at a given time of day, the Sun would be highest in the sky, and we call that time noon. As the Earth rotates counterclockwise when viewed from above the North Pole, it takes exactly 24 hours until the Sun is highest in the sky again. We call this a solar day. But the Earth doesn't sit still while it rotates. It also revolves around the Sun at the same time. Let's start with the Earth in a position where the Sun and a background star are in the same direction as viewed from Earth. As the Earth rotates, it also moves around the Sun. Each day the Earth moves a little farther around the Sun as it rotates. It takes 365 days for the Earth to complete one revolution, and so it moves roughly one degree around the Sun each day although for our purposes, we are exaggerating this effect. If you watch the star in the background, you will notice that I complete one rotation relative to it before I complete one rotation relative to the sun. This length of time is called a sidereal day and is shorter than a solar day by about four minutes. This difference between a solar day and a sidereal day is based on whether you measure one rotation relative to the sun or relative to background stars. Because a sidereal day is shorter than a solar day, stars will appear to rise roughly four minutes earlier every night. Stars that you see up at night now will not be up at night six months later. So there you have it. The combined motions of rotation and revolution not only define two different types of days, but also cause the stars we see at night to change over the course of a year. Join us again next time as we focus on another exciting astronomy concept. See you next time!